This morning you did talk to Matt Dumba and was hoping for a response. Do you feel like you got it and shared the message? Well, I, I thought that was his best game of the year. I mean, uh, he made he shot the puck. He played a simple game, and when he plays a simple game, his skills come through. Did, did uh, you know? Did you tr was today's message to him to kind of reassure him, get him pumped up, or was it to also kind of say, "Hey, we need you better"? Well, I, you know, I said we, we we can't go anywhere without him being really good. I mean, he's our, one of our top four defensemen, and we need our top to four, four defensemen to perform every night. And uh, uh, I thought he had more to give, and he did. He was great tonight. And I'm the first one to tell him he did a great job. How bad did you need a, a start like you had tonight, three goals in the first period? Well, I thought it was good. I don't know how big, how much we needed it. We would have probably not taken our foot off the gas in the in the third period. I, I think if we hadn't got the big lead, but our first two periods were as good as two periods that we've played all year. Bruce, you look at a guy like Joel Eriksson who hasn't been on the box score a lot this year, but what have you seen from his game throughout the first month of the season? Well, you know what? He's been up and down, but he's he. For the most part, I trust him out there. He plays a steady. He he works really hard, and I mean that's young kids. You know they need time to get better and better and experience and playing time, and that's what he's getting right now. Our play looked much sharper and broke the drought. What did you see different from that group tonight? Well, they moved the puck around fast, you know, and uh, when you move the puck around fast, and. The other thing they did, they shot and they played to the inside of their guys and got, you know, I mean, uh, they were getting shots through. And those, when you do those those things, good things happen. So how happy were you for calling you to get on his first Yeah, it was, it was nice. Uh, you know, we, we want everybody to score. And Cully getting mm -hmm. off, uh, you know, I mean, he's used to scoring in his, in his career. So I was glad to see it happen. Obviously, yeah, they, they gave up a, a goal or two late, but did you like to play the fourth line for the most part to get Ennis going here? Yeah, and you know, I mean, the first period I thought they were really good. Um, I thought uh, we had a couple giveaways. Uh, they had the one giveaway in the second and the one giveaway in the third that sort of put a hamper on the overall look of their game. But the first period, uh, I said to myself, if the fourth line can play like that, we're, we're going to win a lot of hockey games. How much do you still, I mean, obviously you got a big division rival coming in next, but you know, to, in this conference in particular, to not be up and down, how important is it to get some traction here and, and get on? Well, especially when we've got the road trip coming up. I mean, you want to finish the homestand as, as good as you can. And, I mean, we know what happened last year. I think we beat Chicago the first game in Chicago, and then they won the rest because they just, you know, uh, they were defiant and weren't going to lose. And we've got to be able to meet their energy and meet their push on, on Saturday. Because they're going to come in here wanting to prove a point, I'm sure. What do you want your guys to take away from a game like this? That when they play solid defensively, they can score as well. They don't have to cheat to uh, blow zones uh, when they shouldn't do those things to uh, to score. When they play the right way, uh, they're going to get opportunities to score. And they did in the first two periods.